That's all this amendment asks, that we have enough notice before the 8.9% takes effect so that we can wrestle with whether we wish to be heard in opposition or not. And our opposition might not take the form of opposing all rate adjustments for MAP-free. Our opposition might take the form of our saying, you know, not 8.9%, it really ought to be 6.9%. Right now, we don't get the chance to let the public's perspective be articulated by a legislator, the attorney general, a consumer organization, or a motivated consumer herself. We don't get the chance to even have the public perspective asserted until the rate becomes effective on you and on your constituents. It goes into effect as a fait accompli, and only then do you find out it was even requested. That's nuts. All we're seeking to do is to make sure that this particular process is brought into line with the normal adversarial give and take that all of us respect.